walking you through the site. There's the driveway. And where those flags are, that's the back corner of the garage. So this will be the back of the workshop. The cars will enter around back over there. Uh, when people arrive, they'll walk through here. And this will be a six foot wide um, walkway. And you'll come out down some steps right here. Over here you have, shoot. Over here you have the front of the garage. So where this is, this will be the opening of the workshop. So you have the workshop opens onto a garden. The garden is four feet lower than the workshop. So now I'm in the garden. This will be the garden courtyard. I'm back over here. This is where uh, you enter through the garage, uh, side of the garage, and then now you're on a covered walkway. You'll have the view of the vineyards on the left. You have the garden on the right. And this marks the covered entry to the front house, to the house. And there will be a wall right here. And so you come in, and to your left you'll have a wraparound porch. And to the right you'll have a glass door. And this will all be a glass wall behind you. So you walk in through the door in the foyer, and boom, there's the first view. Now you're in this great room, which is defined by these flags. Behind you is a glass wall to the garden, to the workshop. Uh, and this is the great room to those front flags up there. Uh, this is the center of the dining room where these flags are. And this is the kitchen over here. So we go back up and if people come in, they can come in through the front door and they can take a left over the porch and down and around a wraparound terrace. And this represents the front of the terrace. It's covered uh, with the planter in the front. And then you can see the six foot wide swath. This is all your terrace. And you're elevated up uh, about 15 feet, 10 feet over grade. Uh, you're at 986, grade is at 974. Um, so now you're on a terrace wrapping around the whole house and two glass walls behind you through, you can see through the house to the garden. And then this wall, this line here represents the hearth between these flags. So this will be a giant hearth. And on the other side of the hearth, you go, it's a split level. So you go up four feet to the master suite. So back here will be the master bath with fully opening doors to the outside, outdoor shower, outdoor bath. Uh, in the front, and keep in mind, you'll be up a lot higher than I am right now, but this is the view from the master. It's freaking amazing. And the master has a terrace out front defined by these flags here and here. And this is your view. Uh, so we'll come back on this down four feet to the main terrace. Uh, to get down to the next level, you'll have to come back and around to the landscape. And then there'll be steps in the landscape that will bring you down. This next set of flags represents uh, the front line of what's just going to be natural landscape, grasses, flowers, and an olive grove. So uh, about 16 olive trees, not big. Uh, we'll run from here to and the far set of flags is 20 feet wide and 72 feet away. This flag, so right now we'd be walking through through uh, an alley of olives. You can have a picnic table here if you want. Uh, these flags represent the outdoor spaces. Um, so I'll just take you through in sequence. So you walk down and, and over here you have your outdoor pool cabana. Um, this, this 12 foot wide piece here will be a trellis cabana with a small little kitchenette and I uh, have trellis above and this is the pool in front over here and right behind you is a 12 foot by 24 foot uh, little pool house and so you walk in through an open passage, no door uh, there will be a sauna, a nice sauna here in the back uh, in the middle here will be the pool mechanical equipment room and then out front, this is exciting this is the uh, outdoor shower. Now keep in mind you're going to be a lot higher than I am right now. But just complete oh, amazing outdoor shower. So you can come back in. The outdoor shower, it's elevated. Uh, so you have to come in through the pool house. But then you come back out and you're under the cabana now. And then you're going to walk up a couple of stairs, two feet. And up here you have a giant round wood uh, hot tub and it's gonna be right here on this platform 
It's amazing. And the water for the regular pool is gonna be four feet lower. Um, so I'm on the fire pit now. And then over here, all along the front of here is a, uh, a sun deck. And so it's down two feet so that no matter what level you're at, again, this is the cabana right here with the kitchenette and a table under it. And now you're down on the pool deck. So this is this is right along the pool deck, it's two feet above the water, two feet below the fire pit and hot tub. So there's never any blocked views. That's the front of the water over there, the blue line. Uh, the pink line is the beginning of the steps. Uh, and it doesn't go the whole way. It's 48 feet wide. The last 24 feet that are in front of the cabana uh, is just natural landscape. It's a drop off. You see the boulders down there. And then the cherry on top, there will be an elevated bridge <laughs> that goes out here to what's called the outpost. And these mark the outpost. Uh, it would basically be like uh, a light framework for uh, a floating bed platform or a hammock or a swing. And this is just supposed to be the place where you kind of go and get really away from the house. And the idea is that it'd be like Frank Lloyd Wright's Falling Water where it's a platform elevated over this creek, over the arroyo. You can, if you listen, you can hear the water in there right now.